Greetings, felicitations, my friends. <laughs> it's time for a little heavy metal. <laughs> We're so glad that you decided to take a risk and join us for this particular video. Ice Nine kills this hardcore heavy metal rock band or whatever you want to call them, active rock. Uh, you know, the, the, these guys are heavy. That's all there is to it. They don't play. Uh, you're not going to hear love in these songs. Uh, the song is called Assault and Batteries. Do not know this song. I am familiar with Ice Nine Kills, obviously. Um, they're not one of my favorite bands, but I don't dislike them, or at least every song. Um, but um, we're not only re react to the song in the video, which we're about to do right now, but we're going to rate the song at the end. So stick around for the rating, especially if you're a Ice Nine Kills fan, and we'll discuss the band a little bit and have some fun. But right now, let's just dive into this thing. I haven't heard it yet. It's trending, and um, that's what we do, trending music. So let's check it out. Here we go. I don't know if I'm ready for this. This could be scary. <laughs> and then it is. Andy, oh. give me a minute, Mom. I have a present for you. After my show. Breaking news. A deadly shootout at a local toy store has left one police officer wounded and a wanted serial killer dead. Our next guest claims her son's doll is possessed by the spirit of a dead mass murderer. I'll be watching over you and every move you make. I may be made of plastic, but I like it. Wait a Fiance, he does not have an original thought in his fucking head. I mean, 
kid play and Chucky Norris doll. What a fucking hack. Original or not, he definitely hacked the hell out of his fiance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not funny. Now you guys know the drill. We got 48 hours to get something on this asshole or he walks. Now instead of worrying about what we don't have, let's worry about what we do have. I want everybody here to talk to every goddamn employee on every one of these videos, because somebody must have seen something. Okay, go, 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 go! Come on, everybody, go, except you, Nordberg. I need a cup of coffee. You got it, Chief. Uh, decaf. <laughs> Two Splendas. You're going down, Mr. Horrorwood. Okay, that's the end of that. Oh my goodness, uh, do I have a few things to say about this? Um, let's tell you how we rate the song. Uh, five and a half stars, greatest song of all time. Five stars in A, four stars of B, three stars of C, two stars of D, one stars in F, zero stars. Why did you ever record it? And uh, let's do a disclaimer here before I rate the song and talk about the video. Um, number one, I do not like raw songs. Number two, I'm not into horror. I'm into aliens. Number three. Well, let's just stick with one and two. So, but wasn't that great? Wasn't it, wasn't it fantastic? Was this not one of the most entertaining music videos you've seen in a long time? It, it had everything you want in a music video. And I'm not into horror and I'm not into raw. This song really is kind of a masterpiece. I, and even I, who don't listen to this style of music, uh, th for me, this music is fun to play, not too fun to listen to. I like more medley. I like, uh, you know, some drawn-out guitar solos. This reminds me a little bit of Avenged Sevenfold, at least early Avenged Sevenfold, way back, you know, uh, when they first came out, you know, like Bat Country Avenged Sevenfold. Um, and this was really fun to listen to and watch. I don't know who was in charge of putting this whole thing together, but it is a masterpiece of art in my personal opinion. I know you're probably, some of you are probably like, this is a crazy song. I don't like it because some of my guys, just people, subscribers, they just are not into this music, but as a musician, as an artist, you know, I look at the artistic um, way it was presented. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not into horror movies. I don't like slasher flicks. I don't like kind of music. But I was very entertained in watching this video. I don't think they needed to do the end there with the police chief or captain or whatever. But it was good. It had me enthralled. I was on the edge of my seat waiting to find out what happened. And, of course, at that last split second of the video, he comes back on, you know, for that one, you know, brief horror kind of thing. I've watched many of, you know, I mean, I grew up in the Friday the 13th Freddy Krueger Chainsaw Massacre era, and I did see all those movies, Halloween and all that stuff, you know, Child's Play. All those movies came out when I was growing up, and, you know, there was... Everybody wanted to watch them. It wasn't my kind of movie, but I went and saw them because everybody was talking about, oh, this guy died and this happened, you know. I was more into mob movies back then, you know, uh, action, car chases kind of stuff, mobs, you know, shootouts. I wasn't into the horror thing. So for me to give this song a good rating says two things. One, I'm definitely not biased. You can't say that. And two... Um, how 
wonderful art this is. You know, uh, it, it may not be my kind of art, but I was thoroughly entertained. One of the best music videos I have watched all year. It wasn't some rock band where they cut to the guitar player, cut to the drummer, cut to the singer, cut to the solo, cut to this. It was a story, a whole you know, mini movie, five minute movie, if you will. And I thought it was extremely entertaining. I'm going to give the video five stars, but I'm going to give the song four stars because it's not my kind of song, but four stars is a B. That's pretty good. You know, especially coming from a guy who really doesn't listen to this kind of music, but the video sold me. I don't know. This song might grow on me. I like all those little breaks and stops that they did. And they had the kids and singing and the, the chorus and yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was so well put together, even though it's not my kind of music, it was extremely entertaining. And I take my hat off if I had one on to ice nine kills on this song, assault and batteries. Uh, I know that they, this is a horror record for them from what I understand. I, I'm looking forward to, if they're going to make videos like this, I can't wait to see the next one. You know, I hope that the ending was a prelude to the next video that they're going to come out with. I will really enjoy that uh, to see a, a follow-up video to this. So, you guys, what do you think of the song? What did you think of it? It was as entertaining to you as it was to me. Um, uh, you know, what What do you got to say in the comment section down there? That's what I want to hear because I read every single comment. I know that's crazy, but I do. I love reading comments because I learn so much and you guys teach me stuff because I don't have time to listen to every song by every artist in every band in every genre. I just don't, you know. I have my own entertainment business. I do these videos on YouTube and, you know, I, I have a life. <laughs> I like to have fun too. I can't possibly listen to everything. But you guys educate me a lot of times and turn me on to stuff that I know nothing about and I am so grateful for that. And I'm, I hope that you decide to like and subscribe for this channel. Like and subscribe. Keep the channel alive. We would love to hear from you. Plus, we go live uh, every few weeks or so, and we talk about music. And I, I look forward to talking about this song on the next live show because this is by far the most entertaining music video I have seen um, all year long. And I am not a horror guy. The Steve Champagne Radio Show invites you to join our internet family of musical friends from around the globe. Join us. Until next time, take care.